Magic Sheets also allow you to use things called views, which will enable you to quickly zoom in to different parts of your Magic Sheet. If you go into your config area, you'll notice at the very top of that menu is a thing that says add view. And as soon as you add view, you'll see that on your command line, you get record Magic Sheet 1, view 1. So I'm going to do another view where I zoom in to just my groups. And if we want to record this as a view, we can say record. And to get Magic Sheets onto our soft keys, we want to hit displays. And that'll bring up our Magic Sheet soft key. And I want to record Magic Sheet 1. If I hit slash, it will give me view, two, enter. I'm going to hide my CIA real quick. And now if I go back into the config menu, I can use my arrow keys to see the different views that I have between one and two. We can have lots of magic sheets in a single show file, so I'm going to add another one by opening up my config and my magic sheet browser. And you'll see that I always have the add a new magic sheet button here in the ribbon. I'm going to click on that. And just like before, it adds magic sheet two, and I'm immediately in my editor. So I'm just going to quickly drop in a few objects. We don't need them to be anything specific for right now. And now if I want to go between magic sheets, again, I can either use my magic sheet browser to click between them, or I could use my command line to type in the magic sheet number. You can also use objects to help you navigate between magic sheets. So I'm going to come up here into my editor, and I want this arrow that we inserted previously to be a magic sheet object. And I'm going to make that to enter. And for the sake of today, I'm not going to have any fields shown. It's just going to be the graphic. When I close my editor and I touch on that object, it'll now navigate me to Magic Sheet 2. So if I want to be able to go back and forth, I want to take this object, make it a Magic Sheet. And if I type Magic Sheet 1 slash 1, that's going to take me to Magic Sheet 1, View 1. So I'll hit Enter. When I close my editor and click on that object, we go back to that magic sheet and that view. Don't forget, just like any other target, you have a magic sheet list. So I can always come in here, label my magic sheets, and see what views I have. If you call a magic sheet without using a view, we're going to use the zoom to all, which will take the magic sheet and fill the space that you have.